GE9X engine uh, was an engine we certified back in 2020. Uh, it goes on the 777X aircraft for Boeing. Uh, very excited about going into service with this engine. We've actually built upon decades of experience with this engine, leveraging from the GE90 specifically to make it a more efficient and more sustainable engine. So we're really excited to go into service in late 2025. Some of the key technological developments from the G90 to the 9X is we've got several generations of new and improved technologies. For example, we've got fourth generation composite materials. We've got third generation of additives. So we have over 300 additive parts on this engine and second generation of our ceramics matrix composite uh, parts, which are more durable and lighter. So it makes the engine more fuel efficient. So we're really excited about those new technologies we're putting in the G9X engine. I'd say it's so quiet. So if you ever, you know, have seen the 777X fly at like an air show, we just hear a lot about how quiet the engine is. It is the quietest engine in its class. Um, it's something maybe you can't see, but you might uh, enjoy hearing about is the sustainability of the engine. So it's got about half the NOx uh, emissions of previous engines in its class, and it's well, well, well below any emissions uh, requirements. So very, very happy about the sustainability of the engine as well. Sustainable aviation fuel, it can fly on that, is totally ready to fly on that. The engine is certified, but we're continuing to test it. We're doing things like our second dust endurance test to make sure the engine is as durable as possible for customers. Uh, we're working with Boeing also just to get ready to go into service. So a lot of our focus is on the production ramp so we can deliver on the backlog that we have with the operators um, and to get customers ready. So this is a big engine, as you can imagine. It's, it's got some challenges and we gotta make sure the customers are ready for that. They've got the tooling, they've got everything they need, the process to be ready to accept the engine and put it in the service and starting in 2025.